Well, interesting that uh, I think this is either Thursday. Yeah, it had to be Thursday when the, the shareholders meeting was. And I think Warner Brothers knew that some things not popular were about to be said. So they, as they do, put out a secondary news topic. So people might talk about that instead. And before you say we're conspiracy theorists of this timing was always planned. Nah, Warner Brothers is known for putting out news just as some else, some other stuff is going to drop. Oh, Ezra Miller got arrested again? Uh, Zazie Beats is returning for Joker 2. Uh, <laughs> that, that's all we really got news-wise. Put it out there. People still care. Uh, but I believe it was Thursday. News came out officially. It had been speculated for a while, but officially announced by the actress herself. Lady Gaga has been brought on to the Joker series. Faleadu, I believe is how you pr- correctly pronounce that. I I should know this. I'm actually part French, but I don't I I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Uh I think it's too early to jump the gun saying definitively that she's Harley Quinn. I've seen a lot of people like go, oh, she's confirmed that she's playing Harley Quinn. No, no, no. She's confirmed that she is in the movie. I don't think that necessarily means she's Harley. Do I think she's playing her their version of Harley? More than likely, but it doesn't mean she's confirmed as Harley yeah, yet. Yeah. I think she just confirmed that she's in it. Um, God, I'm not looking forward to this movie at all in the slightest. No, man. That not being at all. said, Lady Gaga is a very talented actress. She is on a lot of directors' wish list of people to work with, especially um. After a star is born, put her on the map. Acting wise, uh, supposedly she's great in House of Gucci, even if the movie really underperformed. So I would be very curious to see her in this. But this, this type of casting feels a little headline grabbing. Just like a oh, this will make a splash. It feels like a Kathleen Kennedy casting choice of oh, this is the big sexy name for casting. Does it make sense? Maybe we'll see. Uh, also, this movie's supposed to be a musical. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, look, 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 look. I got to call one of my coworkers out. He doesn't listen to the pod, so he won't find out. But, um, bro, this guy tried to tell me that it makes sense for the for two to be a musical because the first one was all about dance numbers. Um. No. There How is it a, about dance numbers? Yeah, there it has a dance number in it, and it's not really like a dance number, quote unquote. So, like, what's your actual like no, 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 no. That's not a thing. I the musical part confuses me, but I don't hate it. It's one of those like okay, sure, yeah, all right, let's go. Let's uh, let's get into it. I mean, you because with jo- if it is Joker and Harley, then you can easily kind of manipulate that story into kind of being in their own heads. would be hilarious if they're the only ones it's a musical for, so they're just always running around. I uh, love that idea. I yeah. love that idea. That is a great idea. <laughs> so it's a musical, but it's like only for them. It's like enchanted, but with the joke with Joker and Harley. Yes. <laughs> but, and they're like we'll playing see. with dead people or something. Like they're dancing oh with dead potty parts. There's so much you can do here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong though. I thought Joker dies at the end of the first one. Or or he gets seriously injured or something. No, last I, I don't time we remember. saw he was, he was running was... around a mental hospital, remember? Yeah, because he does the uh, thing where he like does the paint, <laughs> but I think he ends up in a mental hospital or something like that. Nate, you should know that by now. You can't be like, don't you remember? I'm like, no, I guarantee I don't remember. <laughs> Josh has been dropped on his head once or twice. <laughs> yeah, and not just as a kid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I wasn't I assuming they're... as a kid. <laughs> but that explains it. <laughs> um, I still, I, I'm confused by the the musical thing, but. I'm more accepting than I think some, most people are on this news. Uh, I think uh, your your typical neck beards are very excited to get their Joker back again. Um, but uh, you see, Josh, the movie's about a society, and we live in a society, so that means Joker has something to say. 
And no other movie has something to say like Joker had something to say. It was the movie of its time. It, it was culturally impactful. Like, the media tried to silence the Joker, but it has such a powerful message that it couldn't be silenced. It needed to be spread. Its message needed to be spread into a sequel that's a musical that'll take over the world like La La Land. It'll be Ha Ha Land. And everyone will embrace it. And Josh is like, that's not a bad idea. That's not, that's not a bad title. I don't hate it. Um, <laughs> you watch. All the, all, you watch. Bro, that'll be a poster bro, that no, Boss Logic that, does. That works. No, that totally works. Call it Ha Ha Land. And like they do like the Deadpool style uh, uh, marketing where it's just Joker and Harley dancing through different uh, different musicals. Like they, they do a little hairspray one. They do La La Land. Like that. I, I could totally see that. That'd be but hilarious. See, but now I'd rather see Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone as Joker and Harley instead. Like no offense to Joaquin and Lady Gaga, but that that actually that pairing would yeah. be amazing. And I know so I I, hmm? I just I don't know where we're going. Like even if she is, I don't Harley, think the movie knows no where it's going. Yeah, I I have no issues with with Lady Gaga being Harley. I think she can totally pull that off. I'm here for it. Um. I just I think the big question that you and I both have is why 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 is this happening? It's I uh, because self, the first one made universe. over a billion dollars, so they had to. I don't think Todd Phillips and company ever intended to make a sequel, but they're like, ah, balls, we made money. Um, I guess we got to come back and do it again and get raises. Yeah. Oh man, that's so unfortunate. Now, thankfully, I haven't seen a ton of people do, complain about this, but I'm sure there's people out there that'll be like. It's a musical? You want Joaquin Phoenix to sing? Um. Walk the line? Like, <laughs> I'm not actually worried about Joaquin. I think Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga, I'm not looking forward to the movie, but I am looking forward to the soundtrack. I guarantee you now there's going to be a Lady Gaga song called Crazy Like Me, in which case it's a duet when they first meet or something like that. If that happens... If that happens, it'll be like the top song, like um, Lady Gaga and Top Gun Maverick or Adele <laughs> with a James Bond movie. You watch Crazy yeah. Like Me will be the top trending movie of 2024 Dude. is when this comes out, I think. Sure, sure. Which is crazy that they're still teasing this, like that this is coming out and they're still like, yes, but the Flash can still be a thing, too, guys. Guys, this is this is fine. This is totally fine. It's all fine here now. Uh, how, we're all fine here now. How are you? How, how are you? 